Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 5th of 2019. Well, it is titled the large cloud of Magellan. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud, one of the closer galaxies to our Milky Way, only 160,000 light years away, which means, of course, that we see it not as it is today, but as it was 160,000 years ago. Now, galaxy wise, that's very close. And actually, this is a galaxy that is a part of our own Milky Way system. In fact, a satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. So it orbits around the Milky Way, much as the way stars do our sun orbits around the center of the Milky Way, and much as the way planets orbit around the sun. Now, this this galaxy well, sometimes called an irregular galaxy because of its irregular shape, also does have some structure to it and can be uh, classified as a certain type of spiral galaxy as well. We can see a distinct bar running through the portions of the galaxy. So bar is part of a barred spiral galaxy. In fact, a bar of stars and material going through the central portions. So it's quite possible that this was more of a small spiral galaxy that has been disrupted and distorted by tidal interactions with the much larger Milky Way. Now the large Magellanic cloud is easily visible in the southern sky as long as you're south of the equator. So not visible for those of us in the northern hemisphere to those in the south, very easy to see uh, prominent in the nighttime sky, you don't need telescopes or binoculars or anything else to be able to see it. And you will see it of course, not with near as much detail as you can get in a photograph like this. But you will see it as a fuzzy patch on the sky. And it is as these types of galaxies spiral and irregular galaxies are known for star formation. And therefore we see here one of the largest star forming regions uh, known as 30 Doradus or the Tarantula Nebula down towards the lower part of the image here. That is a very large star forming region a thousand light years across so dwarfing large uh, some of the large uh, star forming regions that we are used to in our galaxy, such as the Orion Nebula, which is very prominent, we get lots of beautiful images of the Orion Nebula. But the Tarantula Nebula Nebula here will dwarf the size of that. So if you live south of the equator, beautiful sight to be able to see the large and the small Magellanic cloud, the large one being pictured here, and being able to, for those of us in the northern hemisphere, if you happen to travel south, a great sight to see something different that we're not able to see here north of the equator. So that was our picture of the day for September the 5th of 2019. It was titled The Large Cloud of Magellan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.